Here's all the beef from Brownie in the barn now. What do you think? I'm about to do a breakdown on how much of everything we got. All right, here's all this meat laid out. I'm gonna just do a quick breakdown and show you how much we got of everything. We'll start on this end with all of our roasts. Here is a chuck roast, um, sirloin, hip roasts, and then um, arm roasts look like that with the bone in them. We got eight chuck roasts, average weight 2.7 pounds, four arm roasts, average weight 2.3, four sirloin tip roasts, this is their average weight, total weights, and total roast weight is 41 pounds. Next is ground beef. These are packed in about 1.1 pound packets, and there are 64 of them for 70 pounds of ground beef. That's a lot of hamburgers. Beef stew is our next category. There's 20 packs of beef stew, and those are 1.1 pounds. There's a beef stew, and that's the total weight, 22 pounds of beef stew chunks. Now we move into steak land. We have cube steaks. There are T-bone steaks. Beef rib steaks, 22 cube steaks, 10 T-bones, 8 sirloin steaks. Oops, I missed the sirloin steaks. For a total steak weight, total steak weight, oop, total steak weight, 62.9 pounds. Last but not least, ribs. There's 7 pounds of ribs. Average weight, oh, I got the average weight wrong. It's actually 2 pounds average weight, so 14 pounds. Our grand total is... Hey Brianna, do you want to guess on the grand total? What was our hanging weight? Uh, 284. 84 was the hanging weight. 200. I have no idea. You're basically right there. 210 pounds. 162 cuts for 210 pounds. Plus, there's quite a bit of fat here that we can render with the tallow and bones chopped up. Not perfectly to Brianna's liking, but they are chopped up some for really great stock. We'll freeze those. If we calculate this in like how much it would cost for us to buy it, oh my goodness. we're talking about 200 times six. Way more. Well, okay, if we buy it by, if we like bought it from a farmer yeah. by hanging weight. Yeah, if we, we bought like a half. a pound. So if we bought it the very cheapest way we would this would have been fourteen hundred dollars of meat if we were to buy it at the grocery store it could be way more than twice that, that? not twice that fourteen hundred to two thousand dollars of meat um off of the cow here's the question brie how much how much did we spend on hay for this cow so he only wintered with us for one winter eating hay because that first winter he was born in the winter he might have nibbled hay, but he mostly nursed. I'm gonna say six bales of hay. But we bought six bales of hay this past winter, yeah. round bales. But we used a ton of that for bedding. Yeah. And we used quite a bit of it for the goats and the pigs. So I would say he. Let's. Be, I would say three round bales for him, but let's say four just to make sure we're being fair. Four round bales at that's hundred and twenty dollars. Yep. Plus hundred and fifty dollars for the butcher. All right. That's. Do you like antiques? This is my phone. $270 for 210 pounds of organic, well, at least grass-fed beef. Not all the hay was necessarily organic. We're basically talking about meat that's like $1.25 a pound, including butchering costs, including buying feed for him. Um, that's awesome. For totally grass-fed beef. That's yeah. a big deal around here. What I don't understand is when people say it's not worth raising your own cows, like you can barely break even. That might be true, for pork, if you're feeding them just bag after bag of food. But if you're feeding hay and grass, you can come out really well on a steer, especially if you've got good pasture. And the guy who broke this down for us, he said this stuff looked really good. He said he enjoyed cutting this cow because the carcass looked so good. He was really happy with it. He, he just liked it. He liked it. He said he enjoyed cutting it. So. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. I do want to mention one thing about the cost is that he was born here, so it's not like we bought him. Correct. Um, 
and that the price for buying a steer like a bottle baby to raise up or if you had a milk cow and put an extra calf on it could have been three hundred dollars for a wean bottle baby it depends on where you live like That's if you totally live true. in dairy country you're gonna pay 25 bucks maybe 50 but around here you pay a couple hundred for a weaned around here you can get a weaned one for oh, 350. a weaned one yeah. yeah but a bottle baby would still be i think at least a hundred dollars around here yeah so we don't have that cost to add into it another reason to get a cow one of the main reasons at this point i want a cow <laughs> well, beef and butter beef and butter <laughs> i'm gonna put all this up Inevitably, someone's going to say, but what about all the time you spent? You have to calculate that into the cost of the meat. And I would say, you really don't. Because we're doing what we want to be doing out here. Raising animals, spending a lot of time at our house, um, sometimes chasing a steer who gets out. We're doing what we want to be doing. And that, you, you can't actually even pay enough for that. That's something that I count as a benefit to myself. It's not a cost. My time is not a cost in this. You just hanging out in the sun? Does that hay smell good? It's a nice place to hang out. <laughs>